I uh, wanted to show you this. Um, go into Sora or ChatGPT, type in some kind of prompt, uh, like hand-drawn children's book, uh, font sheet, black and white only, all characters, uppercase and lowercase, punctuation spaced out, and so on. Uh, this one came out really nice. I liked it, uh, but it was missing the letters after M in the caps zone. So I hit remix, typed in, finished the font, do OPQRSTUVWXYZ, and then this came out. These ones were a little bit shorter, so I had to kind of manipulate them, but eventually I was able to put those two together and create this hand drawn font sheet. Then just go over into upload source image and it'll go through and it'll extract all the fonts for you and then once that's done you can kind of go in and click on each of the font characters and then you'll need to label them so that's capital H save capital G save um, the other thing is, is in the light, the, the low quality area, sometimes it'll incorrectly say that some are low quality when they aren't. So go through and label those, save them, and then up thumbs those ones. And then the ones that are not good, like these two, um, down thumb those to get them out. And then vectorize them all once you're done with all that. And if you're missing a glyph like let's say this these two need to be re-added you can add those glyphs manually later just crop them out in Photoshop and then generate your TTF um, the Q R and J will probably be slightly bigger because of the tails on them so on those ones do normal standardize and then also the J looks a little strange sometimes because of its size so go to edit and then you can uh, change the vertical offset and change the scale on these and then the this is like the kerning here the left side bearing so you can change that then hit save close and then once you're done with all that you'll have a font so you just generate TTF and it'll pop it out and then the last thing is once you're done export your data and that'll make a JSON file and you can actually re-import that into the import learn data button and that won't cost you any extra credits it's only uploading the first source image so that what that'll do is that'll give you the ability to come back later and work on them with that same credit and then once you're done you'll have a font and I think this one looks pretty cool